don't touch it for about half an hour and that will soak in. Now that's a really good area to put on the abdomen. Now if castor oil is applied to the abdomen, it will heal any problems in the abdomen. So what have we got in abdomen? For a woman, um, there's the uterus. So that will penetrate and break up fibroids in the uterus. That will penetrate and break up cysts on the ovaries. That will penetrate and soften the colon if the person has constipation. That will penetrate into the colon and heal the colon if the, if the person has bad diarrhea. Remember Psalm 104 verse 14? God gave herbs for the service of man. So whether it's diarrhea, irritable bowel, or whether it's constipation, the castor will go in and it will penetrate very, very deep and it causes a cleansing and a healing in that area. It's a remarkable herb. So you can use it to break up um, gallstones. So you would put it, say, on the liver area under the right rib. You may put it at the back to break up kidney stones. I've known people that have had bone spurs, say on the knee, and they'll apply the castoral compressors. We had a lady do our program, she had bone spurs on both knees. <laughs> and she also had tumours in her abdomen. After doing our program, it's two years now, and both Two tumours have totally gone. Her oncologist can't believe it. So she had a total lifestyle change. And she was doing also the castoral compresses on the knees for her, knee spur, her bone spurs on her knees. She said after, I think it was six weeks, they'd, they'd gone down by half. She said she forgot to do it. And she noticed a, a month later, they were gone. <laughs> Now, last night we looked at the acid-alkaline balance and it's a high acid diet which causes these um, deposits of calcium on the bones. So she also changed her diet so that she was not having a high acid diet anymore. So the castor oil, I've also seen it help people with brain tumours and what they do is they put it on the area. Remember, it'll penetrate very, very deep, break up lumps, bumps, congestions, adhesions. So if you've got a sore knee and you think, well, do I use the castor oil, do I use the ginger, or do I do use the potato? We'll do one one night, one another night, one another night, and just see what the body says, and your body...